It was one of many sharp exchanges between Democrat Tom Barrett and Republican Scott Walker in the final recall debate of 2012. The issue, the possibility of right-to-work legislation in Wisconsin. Here's what happened. When people have asked you point blank, would you veto a right-to-work piece of legislation that came to your desk, what's your response? Would you veto it? And I, I've said it's not going to get there. And the reason but, but why... would you veto it if it got there? I, I've said it's not going to get there. You're asking a hypothetical. And the reason I've said that is because the bottom line is I saw what happened over the last year and a half. And I don't want to repeat that same discussion. If that bill hits his desk, he's signing it. I say it right here in front of the state of Wisconsin. And it won't. Because, because that's what Mitch Daniels, your mentor, said it would never hit his desk in Indiana. The Thursday before the Super Bowl, Mitch Daniels made Indiana right to work state. Mark my words, he'll sign it. Barring something unexpected, it now appears that Barrett was right. It didn't happen immediately, and right to work was not on Governor Walker's to-do list for 2015. But after months of saying the issue was a distraction, Walker's office said Friday the governor would sign the bill, should it reach his desk. That should not have surprised anyone. Walker once proposed right to work legislation when he was a state lawmaker. And while it may not have been one of his priorities, Republican lawmakers may have done Walker a favor, allowing the likely presidential candidate to check another box on his conservative credentials scorecard. I'm Mike Couchet. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you again next week on Upfront. You can see today's program on our website. Just click on the Upfront section of WISN.com.